Good morning, it's Wednesday. So you guys, I was up till almost 11.30 last night editing my video. Um, and then I overslept like 15 minutes this morning. So I was rushing around trying to get out the door and I made it to school and it is 7.20, so I have about 10 minutes before my kids come in. Not too shabby. Paisley stays with her dad part of the time because we have joint custody, and so she's with him 50% of the time, and she's with me 50% of the time. And when she's not with me, I can sleep a little bit longer and get ready faster and get out the door faster and quicker than I can when she's there. And so, that's what I did this morning. But my goal was to actually get up earlier because I hadn't made coffee last night, which I usually do. I already go ahead and make that the night before and just delay the brew so it starts, you know, it makes the coffee while I'm getting ready in the morning. Forgot to do that. I took off my toenail polish last night and I wanted to paint my toenails this morning and didn't get a chance to, to do that. And my lunch. I didn't pack my lunch last night and didn't have time to do that this morning either. So, it's all good though because I'm at school and I have 10 minutes until my kids get here. I took some papers home to grade yesterday and I actually got them graded at gymnastics. So, I'm going to hand those back out and let my kids work on finishing those things that they didn't finish for morning work. And yeah, so happy hump day to all of you. But I'm gonna go and unpack because I literally just walked in. There's my book bag, there's my other bag, my coffee. So I'm gonna unpack and get my computer on and everything set up for my kids. And I will see you guys soon. It has been a pretty good morning so far. I feel very productive and I only have one more kid. One more kid to test. Uh, I do, however, have about six of my own that I still need to do the fluency testing on, but that only takes like three minutes. So hopefully I can get those or most of those done in the morning. But uh, right before lunch, well, we had our morning rotations. I tested. We did our whole group. We're actually reading this Flamingo Teamworks Scholastic News this week. And then when they came back from their groups, I gave them the little packet that I made yesterday with the characters, thoughts and actions. And so we started with Edward and they wrote down some actions, some words, some feelings and appearances. And this actually goes right in here in this little pocket. Like that. And so they can keep that in there. When they get back from lunch, I'm gonna give them just a few minutes to finish up Edward if they haven't yet. And then at the end of the day, during our 20 minutes, I am gonna read two more chapters and then they will do Abilene and maybe even Pellegrina if they have time. So they are at lunch right now. I did not bring my lunch today. Like I told you this morning, I was running late and I didn't eat breakfast because I brought breakfast, but it wasn't, it didn't taste good. I've been doing these overnight oats where you just put oatmeal in the refrigerator with yogurt and milk and flaxseed. And usually I put like chopped up strawberries or blueberries or pineapple or whatever I have. And I didn't have any fruit this morning. And to eat it without fruit, it is not that good. So I took one bite and then that was all. So I'm gonna go eat some lunch. And we're probably gonna meet today because we usually meet on Wednesdays to plan, but I don't know, I'll have to check with my team. Oh, and we have someone out today, so we may not. But yeah, I will see you guys soon. A drawing? A drawing of land to or oceans. Oceans that show where places are located. 
So what do we call a drawing? What do we call a drawing that shows lands and oceans where places are located? Is that a map? Is it a map? Yeah. Does a map show drawings with lands and oceans yes. where places are located? Okay. Yes. There's a match. No. Large cities. I know I did that one. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the question that I did today for my kids when they came in this morning. And they were so confused. But I thought it would be kind of a challenge. And it was. It says, what's the question Wednesday? Watermelon is the answer. So what's the question? And they kept saying all these things that made no sense whatsoever. And I was like, so... Okay, if you ask that question, is watermelon the answer? And they're like, what, what, I don't understand. And so I just said, okay, well, go sit down and think about it. And when you figure it out, you can come up and write something. So here are some of their responses. What is my favorite food? What is round and grows on vines? Something that is green with red inside with lots of seeds. That's good. I like watermelon, but I cannot have it. That's doesn't. That is not correct. What is green and has seeds? What is red with green? And this is a big old mess down here. What is green and fat? What's green and round? Answer watermelon. <laughs> So that went okay. I have, like I said before, I have 20 kids and this isn't 20 answers, but at least some of them gave it a shot. So tomorrow I suppose I will do something else like this for Thursday. But um, I moved my desks around again. I told you guys I'm moving them like every couple of days. This was actually a group there and a group there. They were separated. But that student over there wanted to sit by herself. So I put her at that table and then I just combine those two groups. And then I have that group and I have this group. So my room looks pretty clean. I made these charts today since we are learning about even and odd numbers. And I wrote at the top things we think or know about even numbers and things we think or know about odd numbers. And I let them tell me what they thought so I wrote their ideas down on the left side of the chart and then I showed some examples on the right side of the chart for both even and odd and I hung them back here so they can refer to them. How do you guys store your flexible seating? This is how we store it and it's just all over the place. I have a flexible, I have a rocker seat on top of my clipboards. For the last 10 minutes or so, I have been repairing books that my kids put in our book repair basket. If they have rips or tears or the pages are falling out or the cover's coming off. And so those are there and I'm gonna get a student to put those in the correct basket for me in the morning. But my battery's about to die and I'm gonna head over to my parents' house for a little while. I am taking a few things home to grade. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked it. Click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!